Inside here is the first of six watermelon gadgets we're going to test out today. When I opened it up and removed all the packaging, this is what we got. It's this large watermelon slicer, and it's basically a scaled up version of one of these apple corers. It should cut the melon into 12 segments, and a core in the middle. So let's try it out on this melon. I placed it on this chopping board. If I were to just try and push it straight down on top of the melon like this, you'll find it's just too much for it to cut through. So instead, what we need to do first is use a sharp knife, and cut off the very top and bottom of the melon like this. Do be careful not to cut too deep, because you want to try and remove as little of the fruit as possible. You can see here, I've hardly cut any off. Now the melon sits nicely on the chopping board without rolling, and we can try out the gadget. Line it up as centrally as you can, then push it straight down. It does take a bit of force, and you might need to put some of your body weight through your arms. And, oh wow, look at that, it all opens up like an amazing flower. That is so cool, I'm really impressed. I was wondering what's the point of this gadget, why not just use a knife? But seeing this, I'm really impressed. We've got 12 perfectly even slices, and it leaves the core standing up straight in the middle. And I guess if you wanted to, you could just leave it like this to serve. I wonder if I try picking it up to move it, will the pieces stay in the cutter? Haha, <laughs> no, they slide straight out. But of course, you can always just pick up the chopping board to move it somewhere. And these individual segments that we cut just lift out easily. Take a look at that, it couldn't get much more perfect. And this core piece just pulls out too. This piece is straight from the middle of the melon, so it should be super sweet and juicy. And what's lovely is you can just hold it like this and chomp away at it. Oh yeah, that's delicious. But before I start eating these, I'm gonna try something else out with it first. Stick around till later to find out what, but first I wanna show you this. Happiness Fruit Cutting Watermelon Fork. Well, that sounds rather special, we better open it up and take a look. Remove it from the box, and here we go. From this angle, it looks pretty normal. But then if you look underneath, it's got these two extra prongs sticking down, which holds a thin cutting bar. Well, that's interesting. I've certainly never seen a fork like this before. The handle isn't the most comfortable thing to grip, but let's see how well it works. And because of the extra prongs, you can actually stand it up on a table like this. So I took a watermelon and chopped it in half, and I'm going to test it out on this. Apparently I can use this cutting bar underneath to slice it all into cubes. The idea is we push it down in like this, and drag it back across the surface. Once you've done one run, work your way across the whole face. Then turn it around 90 degrees, and do the same again. It is a little bit fiddly, but there we go, let's see how it's worked. So the idea is, now you've cut the melon into pieces, you can just turn your fork around and use it to eat them. <laughs> look at that, it's actually quite a nice cube. So I would say this has worked pretty well to be fair. Ugh. You can see this piece didn't come out particularly well, and this piece is a bit odd too. It will probably turn out a bit better with some more practice, but let's see what it's like once you've eaten all of this layer and you want to cut down a bit deeper. So I turned it around to the cutting side again, and well yeah, it's still cutting through, but I don't think I'm making nice neat cubes anymore. There are small enough pieces though for me to be able to just pick them up and eat them with a fork, but if you really wanted to clean out all of the fruit, so I think you'd probably need a spoon. It also shows on the box that you can use it for cutting up segments of watermelon. Let's give that a try. Well, yeah, it definitely cuts through the fruit, but I don't really see the point of using it like this. You may as well just eat the melon as it is. And using the fork cutter like this, it's actually making juice run all over my hand. If you're having a picnic or something, though, and you wanted to eat straight out of the fruit, it is quite a fun gadget, I suppose. But what do you think? Do you like the idea of this? Maybe you've tried one. Next, I want to take a look at this. Watermelon slicer. It says reduce the mess and increase the fun. Ideal for kids and parties. Well, let's see what it's like. I opened it up, and it's this pretty sizable cookie cutter. It does look a little bit tree shaped, but it's supposed to be a lollipop or a popsicle. And to use it, we need to take a nice slice of watermelon like this. And because the cutter's so deep, it can be quite nice and thick. Then line up the cutter, and the idea is we also cut out a section of the skin at the base to give you something to hold. A bit like the lollipop stick. Well, it pushed down really nicely and cut in. Then I gave it a little waggle and lifted it out. And, well, it looks like it's worked really well. I pushed it out from the other side. And there we go. We've got this really big, fat and juicy watermelon lollipop. Pretty cool, huh? And if I hold it sideways and give it a bit of a shake, you can see it is actually quite strong. It's not going to snap immediately. I took a chomp out of it, and hmm, yeah, that's really nice. What do you reckon? Healthier than ice cream? Would you use these? One problem I did find was trying to get another one cut out of the same slice of melon. Unfortunately, the melons we get in this country aren't all that big, and it was difficult to try and line it up to cut another one, whilst also keeping it square with a peel at the bottom so we've got something to hold. And if I were to use the cutter at an angle, it would give us a really weird piece at the bottom. So I pushed it in here, and there we go. We We've got another one, but it does come with a pre-made bite mark. I imagine if we had a nice big watermelon, we could get a whole series of lollies out of one slice. 
Next I want to show you this amazing melon cutter. It says your best solution for eating melons. So let's open it up and take a look. Well here it is. It looks really intriguing. There's this sort of rotating windmill device at the front and it's kind of hard to picture exactly how this works. There's a 0 to 2 centimeters depth gauge on the side and at the other end here is the handle with a hole to hang it up from. So let's try it out. I got this nice big watermelon and used a knife to cut it in half from the top to the bottom. Unfortunately this watermelon seems to have a bit of a void inside. Huh, that's annoying, but let's see how well it works. So to start with you're supposed to slice off the ends of the melon. This has left a bit in the skin. Then take the cutter, I'm setting it at about a one centimeter depth, and push it into the melon. Oh wow, look at that, that really is cool. I love that, we've got these really nice uniform bite sized pieces of melon. And you can just empty them out into a bowl and give it another go. It cuts a really satisfying groove into the melon. This time I'm going to try and go a bit deeper. Oh dear, it broke out a bit at the end. But I'll give it another go. This time I'm really quite deep. And uh, same again. But it doesn't really matter. Look at these beautiful big chunks of melon now. I'm going to try and clear out the whole of this melon. And I did find if you hold the end of the melon with your finger, it can stop it breaking out as you push through. It really is satisfying to use, but of course as you get closer to the skin, you end up with these sort of triangular sections. It is quite hard to clean it out with this gadget. You could of course use a spoon to clean out the rest of the fruit from the skin. I do really like using this gadget, it's such good fun. And I found with a little bit more practice, it does actually really work quite well. And this time as I got closer to the skin, I raised and lowered the handle a bit to try and cut as close to the skin as possible. And to be fair, it seemed to work pretty well. And we've got this lovely bowl full of bite-sized melon chunks. Next I want to show you this, it's actually two gadgets in one. And apparently this piece here should remove the skin from the fruit. To start, we need to slice a melon into segments like this. You could of course use the gadget we started with, and let's give it a go. Huh, you have to sort of rotate it to match the angle of the skin as you cut through. But yeah, that was really easy. Let's have a look how well it's worked. And wow, that's removed nearly all of the fruit from the skin. I'm impressed. It really is so easy to use. And if there's any fruit left on the skin, you can just take a second pass. And of course, if you wanted to, you can just slice up the melon after with your knife. And this little gadget in the centre is actually for making watermelon balls. Let's try it out. <laughs> the first one I tried didn't really turn out very well, but after a little bit of practice, it did start getting better. You kind of just have to spin it around in your fingertips, and it should cut a nice clean ball. This one's a little bit better, and it's great for a decoration or a garnish. But finally, I'm going to show you my idea with this one. I'm hoping it might be possible to kind of reconstruct the watermelon, stand it all back up and hold it together with an elastic band. <laughs> Even this was difficult. Then I'm lifting it off the cutter and putting it back on the chopping board, and I'm going to try using the cutter again to slice each one of the 12 segments in half. So we'll have 24 all together. So I tried lining it up best I could, halfway in between, and I carefully pushed down. But, oh no, this happened. Ah oh well, it was worth a try, it could have been good. Would you like to see me try this again, see if I can do it? Let me know in the comments. Or maybe you've seen one of my previous videos, and you've got an idea on how I could use a gadget for a purpose it wasn't intended for. Let me know in the comments, and if I get enough ideas, I'll make a video about it. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.